All right, we are with a 2020 Transit with the 3.5 EcoBoost. Uh, what we're going after today is purge valve codes. Um, and I'm gonna show you an easy way to test the purge valve. This is the EcoBoost engine. Though this will set a circuit command code, but if you pull down on the tab and take the connector off, you've disabled the purge valve. It cannot do a purge event. Now, if we squeeze the tab, if we squeeze the tab, and remove our clip, and remove our vapor line from the purge valve, that is the vapor line going back to the tank and the turco canister that this draws from. So now, if we uh, start her up, we don't want to rev her up or put her in boost or anything, but if we start it up and this has vacuum, engine vacuum on it, we know that the purge valve is bad and not sealing because it should not be open. This is disconnected. It's one of the easiest ways to test a purge valve on any vehicle if you have easy access to it. So we're going to check that right now. We're going to go start it up and see if we got vacuum. Now it's a little difficult. Uh, I would just put my finger over it normally um, to feel if it's sucking because it's pretty obvious. But on camera it's not going to be so obvious. So we have our... OTC vacuum pressure gauge. So we started up and this is fitted over the end of the thing and we have engine vacuum. We know we got a problem. You see, not the worst one we got, but we got five inches of vacuum. And oh, there it goes. We got a problem. Our first valve is open. And it shouldn't be, so we're gonna replace that purge valve. Let's go! And now on the EcoBoost engine, they call it a couple of them, but this is the canister purge solenoid valve or vapor management valve as they call it. Um, and so this is the piece we're gonna be replacing. Simple thing. Connector, vapor management valve on the engine side, a couple clips or connectors here, they go to the intake, and then our one line there. So we're gonna swap that out real quick, and there is a uh, vacuum hose connector that clips over the stud. So we're gonna remove that with an eight mil deep well. Get that real quick. All right, we're gonna use our eight mil on our Milwaukee high speed. And that's all we gotta do. Just a quick little remover. So now we've already removed our side here. These connector tabs, if we can get a good view on them. Push in on one side. Push in on both sides and push down. There should be. If you got two hands free, they're very easy to do. Move that. Same thing with our other side here. Just push your tabs in. And pull out. Boom, there's our old vapor management valve. I'm gonna remove the rubber connectors here. All right, so now we're just gonna fit the purge valve assembly back into place. I find it easiest just to do the connector on the intake first. And then connect our rear. all the way seated lock it in reconnect our connector and 
put the final piece on. Put our eight mil back in. Put our eight mil back in. And now you could confirm with uh, leaving that valve disconnected still like we did before. You can put the vacuum gauge back on it and start it up and make sure that our purge valve is sealed. But I mean, it pretty much confirmed it there with the test. So easy test, easy repair, and get rid of that pesky check engine light. Now we just got clear codes and road test to verify repair. We're good to go. Thanks guys for watching. Catch you in the next one.